So basically, um, I, I really like it. Really? Now, I don't, you know, it sounds like really high modulus carbon fiber. It really does. What, what is a modulus? Well, okay, so Modulus is the different, how they engineer it in the factory. Yo, what is up, people? How are you guys doing? My name is Mark Chance. My boy, Pauly P, is here to test out my road bike. You guys remember that I actually got some road bike frame set or wheel set, whatever you want to call it, and it's finally built now. I built this on my own, so yeah, we got some... This, this is a pretty nice road bike, and this dude right here is gonna test it out, basically critique it. Do I have to give my honest opinion on this thing? Yeah, you need to. Okay, you I didn't to. want you to get fired from whoever gave you this yeah. thing. No, I'm, dude, I'm stoked. I love road biking, I've been doing it my whole life, and right off the bat, this thing looks sexy. It, it does look sexy. It's like sexy. the Johnny Cash of bikes. And check this out, I bought this tire, and it has red, uh, how do you call this, red strip on the inside, and it matched the bike really good. So, this is Polypiece road bike. For some reason, this Jameis bike is lighter than my road bike. It's kind of weird. It has the uh, aluminum rims on it and it's full carbon. But it's kind of, I don't know, it's heavier than, I mean, it's lighter than my road bike. Well, the reason why I think it's lighter, for sure I feel bad, right off the bat, is that that has Durace oh. components and Durace is the highest end, so that's gonna be lighter. Also, it doesn't have the disc brakes and the disc brakes might be a little bit heavier on your bike. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what kind of components I got here. You have a smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Well, yeah. I'm going to do a bike check video on this soon, but for now, I want him to test my very first road bike build. Let's do it. It came with this aero handlebars and it's, and it's carbon too. The problem Ooh, is... That's light. Yeah, it's super light, right? I got an alloy drop bar on my bike right now because I have no idea how to actually like install that. It does. I don't think it's that hard. I think you just go right through there, and it's gonna come right out this end over here. Maybe that's the next project. Yeah, this will. This is a video. Can I show them this cool thing? Look at that. That's for your Garmin computer installed in the bar. I yeah, mean, that so is freaking cool. Insane, right? No, totally. No chance. Well, if you can't figure out how to use these, you know where to bring them to. I'll take them. Oh, sure. There you go, Paul. Test ride my bike, and we'll talk about it later inside. This is my first ever riding a, I don't want to say a knockoff because the company is Triflo. Trifox. Trifox. <laughs> yeah. Trifox out of Shenzhen. So I'm looking forward to this. Yes, sir. I'm going to take it for a little spin. Let's test it out. All right. Let me know how it feels. What do you think, man? You want my honest opinion? What's up? Or you want me to I'll make you look good with your sponsor? Give, give me an honest opinion. Okay, so I gotta say, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I, I didn't think it was gonna be this responsive, this snappy. Really? It has, it has yeah. a nice snap to it. When I put some force into it, it wanted to go. Um, really? Yeah, and this is your positioning, so obviously the positioning was a little bit different for me. Yeah, but you're, you're a little say, taller than me. I'm a little taller, but uh, anyways, aside from all that, it... All right, let's get out of the way. Yeah, let's, let's not get hit. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, she so changed I, her mind, okay. So basically, um, I, I really like it. Really? Now, I don't, you know, it sounds like really high modulus carbon fiber. It really does. What, what is a modulus? Well, okay, so Modulus is the different, how they engineer it in the factory. Oh. So like a standard carbon fiber isn't going to be uh, as light and as responsive and as stiff as a high modulus. So a high modulus is very, very stiff. This felt stiff. It really did. Um, obviously what she said. it's light. <laughs> I get that all the time, no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh, they don't call me the Leaning Tower of Pisa for nothing. <laughs> and, uh, but... I would love to, to talk to the person who is an engineer on this team to find out exactly what type of modulus they got yes, going, sir. Uh, what frame style they may have copied. Um, it kind of looks like a Scott road bike, so I don't know if they have anything to do with that. But anyways, two thumbs up. For real. I'm gonna rate this like a seriously a nine out of 10. On the little bit I did, I sprinted with it. 
I cornered on it. I climbed on it a little bit. I really like it. Hey, let me tell you, I built this by myself. This is well, the first- I was about to say, technically it didn't feel that good when I was shifting or braking. Yeah, that's I, that would be a mechanical, yeah, that's a mechanics a, error. Yeah, that's probably like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty good with mountain bikes, but again, this is my first road bike that I built. And at first I have no idea, but it's actually easier to build a road bike versus mountain bike. Yeah. I don't know, but th that's how I felt. Can I give a shout out to my YouTube channel? Heck yeah, let's do it. Poly Speed TV, where uh, I have a lot of cool cycling stuff as well as some fitness and tennis. Well, g give them a little bit about your background. Okay, so I grew up in uh, upstate New York where I started racing road bikes when I was um, 14 years old and had some uh, good junior success. I got to be on like the 7-Eleven junior national team. Uh, and then later, I guess uh, I was the New York State champion. So I raced a lot um, and I raced professionally for like seven years. So yeah, I'm glad to still be alive. It's not like tennis when I have my kid. Yeah. That's why I want you to tell them about your background is because I don't want them to think that, oh yeah, you, you just picked a random dude to test your bike. Basically, Paul Pisani is a professional road cyclist and he did race before and he owns a bike shop and yeah. you know, so he knows everything about bikes, especially the road bike. Yeah, I know, I know road bikes, no doubt about it. I've ridden a lot of different ones, you know, from back in the 80s when I had a uh, a Benotto, which was an Italian frame made out of steel, Reynolds 531, so it's evolved a lot. But yeah, I know road bikes and I don't know much, but I know about road bikes for sure. I made you your own sheet of stickers, bro. That's mine, dude? This is yours, bro. Look, I appreciate it. Can I have the honors of putting this on? Yes, sir. Now, don't judge, this is one of my first stickers, so we're okay. learning here. But I think this white is gonna pop. Let's see. On this black. So this is the Filipino American because you're a little bit of both, right? Yeah, I'm basically mixed, so. There you go. All right, that looks pretty good. Dude, Dude that like, is nice. Like, it looks like pro level right there. It looks there, legit, bro. man. I feel, like, I feel like I'm one of the- You're ready uh, for the Tour de France. <laughs> yeah, Tour de Yuli. <laughs>